Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Let us start with our title Malware Propagation in Large Scale Networks So the term malware in general states that unidentified threat or the potential damage which causes the network function as stabled one So in the early stage of propagation clear detection of malware is not provided in terms of network attributes Clear detection means the propagation of malware through the network Work is not provided clearly on earlier stages and the existing system so from the above methodology the recovery measures cannot be able to made from the clear analysis is not given so in the proposed system we are going for a methodology called SI model in this model the clear propagation of malware is provided in various stages and effective analysis are made so in this SI model two stages are followed in which the effective detection of malware is provided these two stages are simply the identification of host in the network and identification of the damaged in the network from the total network population so from the above classification of identification a clear and effective analysis of malware is provided so the main aim and the main abstract of our process is to provide a detailed manner of propagation in malware to the large extent and the establishment of a rigorous two-phase epidemic model for the propagation of malware so the, this rigorous two-phase epidemic model is the SI model this SI model simply follows the classification of malware into three stages namely early stage late stage and final stage respectively with the distribution of exponential as follows the mal hence from the above system and the above proposed methodology we are able to clearly provide the distribution of comprised host and comprised networks through the propagation of malware comparing to the existing system in a clear manner so let us start with our flow diagram the input for our process is the configure data set this configure data set consists of network attributes in a large manner so this configure data set is chosen as a input for our project and the first stage of our flow diagram is the status of vulnerable host the status of vulnerable host means simply the stage of host the stage of host may be whether it may be infected or whether it may be suspected so the stage has to be identified and after the identification of stage the infection rate is calculated the infection rate means the propagation of malware in a timely manner so this rate is calculated and the infection rate is simply used to find the stage of vulnerable host as discussed earlier this stage is the early stage late stage and final stage respectively after the analysis of the stage it these results are fed into the two phase epidemic model this two phase epidemic model clearly works as phase 1 consists of comprised host identification and phase 2 consists of comprised network identification so this result of rigorous two phase epidemic model is used to classify the malware propagation and the clear analysis is made and the flow is stopped in to this level so let us start with the demo of our project simply open the netbeans and open our project malware propagation so click in the home page and simply right click this home page and choose run file option so our program or our project is running so this is the first form of our project so simply click the next button so as discussed earlier here we are loading the configure data set this configure data set consists of the network attributes as stated earlier so these are the network attributes which are going to used in the classification of malware propagation so after loading this data set as stated in the flow diagram the stage of vulnerable host to be identified so for the identification of the host here we are going to calculate the probability value so from the above prob so from the above probability value the host the is classified clearly the clear classification of host and the network is provided based on this probability value only 
So after finding the probability value among the network attributes, here we are going to analyze the stage of host. So this stage of host simply falling into two categories namely infected host and the recovered host respectively. The infected hosts are removed from the total population and the recovered hosts are removed from the total population. So the classification of malware propagation and the identification of host is clearly provided as mentioned in the flow diagram. After the classification of host the removed population from the total infected population is found out. So these hosts are the removed population from the infected population. So this is clearly split from the total population based on the above probability value. So this after this classification we should find the infection rate at particular time manner. So to find this infected rate here we needing here we are in need of some network attributes. We are going to find this network attributes first so this is the total count of the host so this is the total infected population so this is the total recovered population and this is the removed host from the total host population so after finding these attributes needed for the formula here we are going to find the infected host and the suspected host in a timely manner so after finding these we are going to find the increase of host in the network. So to find the increase of host in the network, we need some network attributes to be calculated. These attributes are named as alpha and the infection rate is calculated as earlier. So this stage is used to find the discrete transform model. This discrete transform model is going to find the increase in host on network. So after finding this increase in host, and clearly the increase in host is provided in the network is going to be analyzed. So from the above network attributes we are clearly identifying the increase of infected host in a clear manner. So from this host here we are going to find the propagation of malware. So for the propagation of malware we are going to identify the two kind of probability namely vulnerability probability and the infection rate probability. The formula to identify the vulnerability probability is clearly specified in the below and the infection rate probability is also clearly specified as beta. So these two formulas are used to simply analyze the probability values. The vulnerability probability is displayed and the infection rate probability is also displayed in the respective fields. So in the ZIPF distribution we are here clearly finding the random networks probability. Random networks probability is the any network which is any network which is choosed any network which is choosed from the ran in a random manner from the above network. So the random network probability is displayed and the large network probability the large network may be any networks which is in the discussion. So here we are simply taking the three networks. These three networks are simply K1 network k2 network and k3 network so these fields and these numbers are the number of hosts that are present in the net k1 network k2 network and k3 network respectively so here so here we are here we are clearly discussing the comp compressed distribution and here we are going for a model analysis so this model analysis clearly classifies the host population in terms of initial stage final stage late stage respectively so the task of our project is clearly achieved thank you